Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear workshop. Uh, thanks for joining me for a, uh, a Lego build today. Uh, we're just taking a break from model kits, working on some Lego sets. We're going to do two Lego sets in a row. Uh, I feel like I haven't streamed for a while, uh, and that's because I haven't. I was supposed to stream this past Saturday, and that didn't work out, unfortunately. Um, uh, everything looked like it was going to be good, but the connection was just terrible. Drop frames galore, and it was uh, not a good stream, so I abandoned it. Instead, recorded a video, my first ever uh, video without being live. Uh, worked on some model kits, some mega constructs, and uh, decided that uh, I put up a YouTube video of just that. And, um, you know, in the future, I will do more. Uh, but right now, that is unfortunately the best we we're going to get. Uh, so that's actually a, an option I have for when I travel, is I can record a video ahead of time so that I have something to go up while I'm out of town, but uh, if the live stream doesn't work out. So that's a good thing for me to think about. I want to thank everybody who's joining me. We're going to wait for a few more people before we get into the building. Um, hello, uh, Isk. Hello, Waffles. Uh, I'm. Uh, thank you for putting up that bear cave emote, letting people know. What's what? Uh, I'm going to give a quick refresh here on Twitch because it seems to be responding poorly on my dashboard here into the chat. But yeah, um, I believe the holiday sale is still going on. If you're not a subscriber, uh, you can jump in on that, uh, get a discount for your first month. You can always use your Twitch coin. Um, remember, if you use your Twitch coin uh, because you have Twitch Prime, because you linked your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account, you got to renew that yourself. It doesn't auto renew. So you got to click that renew thing and give me another month. Uh, but yeah, we'll wait a minute or two. Uh, see if we can get a few more people here in the chat uh, to jump in before we get to building. Uh, I will answer the question that uh, someone posed to me on Twitter. They asked if I was going to continue the Charizard because I, did, I uh, uh, did very little of the Charizard. Um, but I'm going to save that because it's a mega constructs. It travels well. I'm going to save that kit for the road next time I travel, which will be in April. Um, I'm going to save that and not build it here on the stream because it's quick and easy and I can take it with me and do it in, uh, and make a stream out of it. Um, so I'd rather build this. Uh, let's go to it. Let's get into it. We'll probably have a few people join us as we go. Um, this is... I'll bring the box over here so you can see what, I'm, what we're working on today. Uh, this is the uh, Lego Star Wars Yoda Starfighter. This is a Jedi Starfighter, I should say. I should be specific. Uh, this was purchased by Harold Price. Shout out to H-Bomb Harold. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I did some knolling of the first bag. This is a three-bag kit. Should move pretty fast. I don't think we're going to finish today, but we're going to get very far in it today. And we'll finish it up on Saturday, is my guess. Uh, yes, Yoda's the fighter. Um, so this is a Starfighter uh, for featuring Yoda. The thing I want to point out of Yoda is there's two things with Yoda. One, um, we'll, we'll put them up here. Uh, one is that Yoda doesn't have legs that, like a normal uh, minifig. They're like half legs that don't bend or move. And then two, um, Yoda's uh, lightsaber is taller than Yoda. And so that's fun and funny. And I think, I think that's pretty hilarious. That uh, they're just like, ah, whatever. It, 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 it works. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to build a Starfighter from Yoda. This was purchased off my Amazon wish list. Uh, I'll put a link into that there. I've got a few things on my wish list. I added uh, some more kits, some more Lego. I bought a kit off my own list. I had uh, my parents send me an Amazon gift card uh, for Christmas. So I took that Amazon gift card. And I purchased the Double X Gundam from Gundam X. Uh, one of the least popular Gundam series ever. But I really like it. It's got a special place in my heart. Um, so I purchased that kit. Um, they didn't make too many of those. I'll tell you that. Uh, so I purchased that kit. And um, that won't be the next one we build. Um, we're going to do another Lego set after this set. We'll do two Lego sets in a row. Because I've got a good stockpile of Lego sets. We'll do two in a row. And then the one we do after that will be the Gundam Death Scythe. Uh, oh, Harold, thank you very much for hosting. Um, appreciate that. We're building the kit that Harold purchased for me. 
Uh, Waffles, hello. Yes, uh, my holiday was great. Um, so if I cough today, if I if you hear me hacking up uh, a lung, that is because my dad got me sick. So that is the only part of this of my trip that was not cool was that my dad had a cold, and then towards the end of my my visit with them, I developed that cold, and that sucks. Um, but other than that, it was a great holiday, and I really had a good time seeing my parents, um, who I only see once a year, occasionally twice a year. I'll see them in the summer um, this year, or next year, which would be good. But yeah, I don't see them that often. I don't get to travel home that much. Um, my big gift is, is almost always that they pay for my plane ticket, so I'm able to go and visit them. And... So yeah, so we're building this LEGO Starfighter. It's a pretty simple, pretty straightforward build. Uh, there's not a lot of bells and whistles in this kit. It's pretty fun, but it's not, yeah, it's not like, there's not a lot going on here. Um, yeah, but it was a good relaxing holiday. I slept so much. It was so nice to, to have a, lo a long sleep. Uh, got really caught up on my sleeping, and that was really nice. And uh, yeah. Uh, overall, it was just a good vacation. I'm happy to be back in New York. Um, uh, my work schedule is all weird because of the holiday and when I normally work. So I have like, uh, I worked uh, yesterday and then I work again on Monday. So I have quite a bit of time off. I'm producing, still producing the wrestling show, or there's no wrestling to it, the uh, comedy improv show. Uh, our wrestling is on hiatus, but I'm still producing the show. Harold, I know what it's like. Your parents left through your college. I was in Florida. My parents moved to. Yes. Yeah, it's tough. They retired to South Carolina because they used to live in Connecticut. I'm, I'm from Connecticut. I was born there, uh, if you didn't know that. Um, and my parents lived in Connecticut even when I moved to New York. They were still there. And I was able to get home three or four times a year. I went home for Thanksgiving. I went home, you know, like quite often. So it was, uh, it's been a bit of a, a rough time. Uh, Oh, hello, Anatomist. Welcome to the Bear Cave. Uh, hello, hello. And David, hello. We got so many subscribers here in the Bear Cave right now hanging out. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much for letting the people know. Uh, you got a Lego set and two Star Wars Bandai kits. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, um, I didn't end up with any Lego kits or anything like that. Like I said, I got an Amazon gift card. And just bought the double X Gundam because that's the thing I want to build because, you know, I mean, I'm going to build a lot from Gundam Wing. I'm going to build the things that I want to build on that side. And then everything I put up as far as Lego goes are things that I would like to build. And y'all can kind of pick and choose that. Because I understand that the, uh, I'm sorry, I'm burping here. Um, I understand that the Lego sets are, are fun. They're Star Wars. They're uh, Batman stuff. I understand that people uh, kind of have an attachment to those properties, not so much to some of the weird, obscures, uh, uh, obscure um, Gundam series. Like, like I said, uh, Gundam X came after Gundam Wing. Gundam Wing was like revolutionary for the Gundam series. It was beloved and well, lo uh, like really liked. Oh, thank you very much for the five cheers. Thank you for those bits. I appreciate it very much. Um, that is one way to support the stream and what I do. Uh, I'll put links up to my Amazon wish list and my Patreon and all that. Um, yeah, so this is pretty straightforward. We're just putting this stuff together. But yeah, I, um, so Gundam X like came out after and it's in some ways it's kind of a throwback. The art style felt, uh, like a step back. It, it just, it didn't hit. Um, it wasn't a, a huge success like, uh, Gundam Wing. Uh, what happened here? Oh, another cheer for H bomb. Thank you so much, Harold. Um, yes, we've got some uh, some uh, charity stuff here, I guess. Uh, if you use hashtag charity when you're doing uh, bits, uh, that supports a lot of charity relief, which is awesome. Um, very nice of uh, Twitch. The least they can do in some instances to support uh, people. Um, all right. So so one thing that we are running into here is. For my eyes, my eyesight, dark gray and black look pretty similar on the on the page. So I'm trying to be extra careful with pieces that look like look very similar that might be the same 
uh, that might be uh, just a slightly different color. So I'm trying to be very uh, particular about that. Um, I'm also right now hunting for a piece that I can't find, which is a nightmare. Um, I mean, I did, I did my, oh, here we go. I got it. Okay. Uh, I did just by color. I didn't look by shape uh, when I separated these pieces. Um, so there's a little bit to word there. Yeah. Uh, some of these uh, pieces look uh, very similar. And so I am trying my best to make sure that I don't mess it up. And if I do mess it up, that it's easy. It's easy to fix, especially this kind of these pieces right here. Uh, I do have my one tool for Lego, which is uh, the separator right here. Show that off. That's, you know, this is um, essential. I uh, wish I had this when I was a kid. Um, most major kits come with these. You can buy them on Amazon yourself if you want to just have one. Uh, this is the one that came with my Millennium Falcon build. So I just pulled it out to use it for this so that I had it. All right, we'll put that there, put that there, put this there. Great. Okay. And then those are the four pieces. Thank you, folks. Here. All right. Uh, I want to make sure I'm putting this on right so that I don't have to do it again later. You know, if we screw up, we screw up. But, you know, it's better if you don't, obviously. And put that like that. Great. And I bet the last piece is going to be a black piece to lock it in place. Yup. That last piece is a black piece right here. Um, this is probably the inner workings of our ship, one would assume. And yeah, we'll just make sure it's nice and level with everything. Uh, let me know in the chat if you're building anything tonight. If you're doing a painting, if you're assembling a kit yourself, if you've been working on anything lately while I wasn't streaming, um, if you've been doing anything feel free to let me know. You can always send me uh, tweets about stuff you're working on. Uh, I often retweet when people send me uh, projects that they're working on because I love hearing about what you're doing out there. Sometimes you're like building a kit and I'm like, oh, I want that. Um, someone sent me a link to a pre-order for, um, for Amazon for the uh, Pacific Rim Gypsy uh, Bandai kit. It's a high grade kit, which as you know, I normally don't track in high grade. I like master grade. That's the kind of level I like to build for those. Um, I will most likely make an exception because I that's the kit looks really cool. I don't have the link in front of me. I apologize for not having that link, but uh, you can Google it yourself uh, and it looks real cool. Um, I'm really into it. Um, I'm hoping the stream looks okay. Let me know if it sounds weird, if it looks weird, if anything is a problem. We haven't any drop frames or anything. So what happened was not only did I have trouble and I had to abandon my streaming last uh, Saturday, I also had some issues with my computer and I had to do a fresh install. Um, and then here's the thing that I discovered, everybody. I didn't save my profile somewhere, easily found, on... Uh, um, on, uh, anywhere for OBS. So all my settings were gone. So I had to rebuild everything from scratch. And I think I used the same tutorial that I used the first time. Um, I think I, I found the original tutorial I used for settings. Um, and so I think that I recreated everything about the same. I'm also wired right now. I got a, uh, ethernet cable that reaches my modem, um, or my, uh, hotspot which I did not have previously. I've been doing Wi-Fi before. Uh, uh, Nativus, you legit never knew the separator things existed until a few years ago. Oh, yeah. these. This is, you know, I don't know when they came out, when they hit the market, but this thing is great. Um, it's, it really does work because uh, if you can't get it at one angle, you might be able to get it at another angle. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to work things around uh, and kind of use, you know, uh, its own momentum against it, and then also even being able to punch things out with this piece. It, it really is a wonder. Um, I haven't run anything where I've been like really boned uh, that it can't undo. Uh, all right, go here, and we need one of these, and one of these. So yeah, so I had to completely redo my settings from scratch. Uh, Oh, you sent me the Pacific Rim link. Well, thank you very much for sending that link. It looks really rad. Um, I'm not, like I said, 
uh, I might have to break my own rule about um, building uh, master grade kits and actually get one because it looked real cool. All right, so we're just uh, assembling here. Pretty straightforward uh, on these. Um, so yes, yeah, so what I was saying, let me know if anything sounds weird, looks weird, feels weird about the stream. Like I said, I had to rebuild everything from scratch. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, so yeah, so you got the link there to the Pacific uh, Rim model kit. Um, I'm going to be paying attention to that. I have a notification set up to send me info. Okay, so these want these to be square. Notification here. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, if you're working on anything, always let me know in the chat. We're going to go until 9.30 uh, p.m. Eastern tonight. So we got another uh, hour and 15. I'm going to also stream on Saturday at my normal time of 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and then, so I it's going to be a game time decision, right? I think I'll know more by Saturday. I'll have an announcement. I'll post it on social media. I might stream New Year's Eve because right now I have no plans. Um, so I might do a test stream and see if my new setup will allow me to like play like Jackbox well or something like that. Or even if Hearthstone looks good, I might do like a, a non-announced Hearthstone test stream or something. But I've been thinking I might try to do... Um, I might just do a New Year's Eve stream just for the hell of it. Because if I'm going to be home, maybe I can be on the internet with some uh, lovely friends. So I'm thinking about it. Don't quote me on it. Nothing set in stone. It, you know. But if I'm not going to go out, uh, which, you know, I'm 37. I don't drink. So New Year's Eve isn't always the best night for me. Um, but if so, if I don't end up going out, if I'm just going to stay at home on a Sunday, uh, I might stream. You know, ring in the new year on the internet. Uh, like I said, don't quote me on that. Don't set your plans for it. But uh, that that might happen. Uh, I've been thinking about it. It might be a cool way to end the year. Uh, right. And I want to have that like that. And I want to have this like this. Great. Just, just kind of placing things where they need to be. Getting things ready here. I've got uh, these pieces here. It's a very straightforward kit. You know, no, there's no surprises, nothing shocking right now, nothing where I'm worried about it, uh, which I don't mind. Uh, uh, do you even know about it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Waffles, I don't know. Um, I normally work Sunday. Here's the thing. I normally work on Sunday, okay? And then for many, many years, my job used to have a invite only, not for the public, just for performers, um, Christmas party. And we stopped doing it uh, for various reasons. Um and so I ran out of, like, things to do on New Year's Eve. It used to be set. I would just, like, work. And now I don't work. So I don't know what to do with it. And last year I didn't do anything, and it was fine. So I'm thinking I might do a bonus stream. Um, I don't know for sure. All right. So we've got decal application. There's not a lot of decals on here. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, as you know, I don't really uh, track too much with stickers. Uh, but, um, I'm going to give it a shot because there's not too many of them here. And also, uh, if I screw up, I screw up. Decals are a, lot, a little easier than other applications of stickers. You can kind of mess up a little bit. These stickers allow you to kind of pull it apart and redo it. Uh, I'm going to try one more time. I'm not going to take too much time out of my day or out of the stream to do this. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm not good at it. I'm just not I'm just not good at it. You know, if I had like an X-Acto knife, I could really line things up. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, we'll put that there. Put that there. Uh, yeah. Not great at it. Yeah, I don't know if... Uh, if like I said, I don't know. Um, right now, my laptop, uh, which is a good gaming laptop. Like right now, I'm using like 30% of my CPU just to stream and record in the background. So, uh, I don't know if a game is going to work. When I played Hearthstone, um, it ended up recording well, but the live experience was a little choppy and was not as cool as it could have been. So, I am uh, attempt to be wary of that. Um, oh, speaking of which, so... Oh, Jackbox is always cool. You're, you're not wrong. Um, so, speaking of, of um, 
I have made a decision. So, whoop, we got here. First, I'm going to say, uh, Akatsuki, uh, thank you for subscribing uh, three months in a row using your Twitch Prime token. That's awesome. Uh, for those of you that don't know, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account. You get a token that you can use every month. Uh, thank you for your using now the third month in a row, giving me that token, which acts just like money for me. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for renewing. Uh, this is a time, yeah, I think right now is when a lot of people like joined in. Um, so a lot of them are kind of like ending. And uh, okay, so we're going to take this piece and we're going to put it aside. Uh, we'll put it over there. We're going to build a new part of the ship and then put them together. Um, okay. Uh, so we got these weird pieces. I've seen these before. So anyway, uh, here's my big thing. Um, I, instead of uh, raising my own capital or you know asking for donations or anything like that and building up my game uh, uh, home PC to be able to stream and be able to stream games on it instead uh, oh thank you very much uh, for uh, Markowski uh, for uh, for subbing I really appreciate it um, so instead of that I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invest some money and uh, into this laptop so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to double the ram right now i've got eight gigs it can support up to 16 so i'm going to buy two eight gig uh, cards when my christmas bonus comes in from work which is uh theoretically any day now maybe tomorrow i don't know yet when my bonus comes in i'm going to buy ram i'm going to spend the money i'm going to upgrade the ram on this thing i think that's going to be really helpful the other thing that i'm looking into is because this is an alienware laptop there is a thing I can purchase uh, that will um, uh, basically it's a, like an accelerator thing. Um, it's proprietary for Alienware. Uh, there's a cable in the back that plugs in, and then you get this box that has uh, USB uh, three in it that you can put any uh, uh, that you want um, a graphics card in it, and it becomes like basically you can take a graphics card. That you would normally have in your PC, and you can have that run for your laptop. So when I'm here home, I can have that running. So I'm looking into that. That might be where I'm going. Instead of building a computer from scratch and spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars, I spend a few hundred dollars to make my laptop better, which I, you know, I, even without that accelerator, would still improve things on my uh, laptop um, for traveling. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'll keep you all posted and on that stuff, but I think that's where we're going to go. Um, just putting more RAM in this thing will definitely help things out. Excited about that. But the goal is to be able to stream games. And one of the things of this graphics card uh, deal, uh, this accelerator, I forget the name of it. I'm going to look it up right now. Give me one second. I'm going to look it up. Um, one of the things about it that's cool is that you can have, you know, multiple displays, but you have the display coming out of that. So I wouldn't have to uh, run a display off of the laptop. I could just have another display hooked up to this thing, which I'm going to look up the name right now. The thing that I'm, that's on my Amazon wish list that you could purchase if that's something you'd like to do uh, is, whoop, top. Uh, whoop. It didn't show up. Did someone buy it? Did I take it off? I don't know. Let me look at here. Actually, it's not on here. So either either one. Either I didn't put it on here yet because I was like, oh, I'll buy it. Oh, I think that's what it is. Or two, someone bought it for me, but I think I just, maybe I didn't put it on there. No, I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I forget. This is this weird thing. Yeah, Razer has one of those too. So here's this weird thing where I can't remember if I put it on my Amazon wish list. And someone immediately already bought it for me. Or I didn't put it on my wish list yet and I was meaning to do that. I literally can't remember because Amazon doesn't tell you. Like, I don't have a way to see if someone purchased something off my wish list. I just have my wish list and then, like, things come off of it. So, like, maybe somebody, maybe I for, did put it up there and someone already bought it for me. Or maybe I didn't put it up there and no one bought it for me. And I just don't remember. That's where we're at right now, which is a awful place to be. 
Um, so now, oh no, now it's up. Never mind. Now it's on my list. Uh, it's the Alienware graphics amplifier. Um, it is on my wish list. It's at the bottom of the wish list. It just wasn't loading, which is the weirdest thing. Uh, Razer has one of them too. Razer has their own proprietary version. But yeah, I mean, the idea is that if I want to start streaming games off this, it will make that a possible. I'll be able to stream games off my laptop. Um, so that's on my Amazon wish list. I'm going to buy the RAM for myself either way. And then depending on what my Christmas bonus is for work, which I don't know yet, um, I might just buy it for myself because it's like 160 bucks. Um, but I put it on my wish list now in case someone was like really gung ho about buying it. I was like, oh, I got a lot of gift cards at Amazon. I'll do that. You know, which, uh, as always, uh, you are under no obligation to give me any money ever. You don't have to do Patreon. You don't have to do Twitch. Uh, I, I prefer if you give me, uh, at the very least, a uh, if you give me a follow so you know when I'm streaming. Set your notifications so you know when I'm live and streaming. That's always nice. But yeah, you don't owe me anything other than watching, which if you want to watch. And if you can, be a Twitch uh, subscriber. That's great. Be a Patreon supporter. That's great. Send some money to my Kofi uh, once in a while. That's great. All those things do is they fund back into me being able to do this. Uh, sometime in January, I'm actually going to get money from Twitch because I hit the threshold and then I have to wait like 60 days and I'm going to get like money from them, which will be great because then I'll be able to use that. I'm going to get uh, the $9 uh, Twitch subscribers will get their, their own custom emote. I'm going to have that paid for. I've got to get that actually. Reminds me, I gotta get that taken care of. Um, I'm gonna do that, and then yeah, the money just fades into like either buying kits or upgrading my gear. And if I hit $150 right now, I'm uh, 95 on Patreon. When I hit 150, uh, that'll be the in that extra income will be able to pay for more kits, so I'll be able to stream three times a week. Right now, I do twice a week. I'd like to do three times. I'd like to do uh, an afternoon stream at some point, especially for my international uh, friends. That would be nice for them. Uh, so that's the thing I'm looking into. But right now, you know, I'm, I'm still doing just two days a week. Uh, all right. So this goes like this. Oh. Huh. Where am I doing? Okay. So that goes like that. That goes like that. What's red? Okay, so I screwed up somewhere. I know what I did. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I was like, what's wrong? Um, I put the base of this on. I put it on the wrong side. So hopefully I'll be able to undo that without it being too much of a hassle. Um, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's like that goes. And we swap that around. And that theoretically should be fine. We'll find out later if I fuck that up. But I was like, this doesn't seem right. And it wasn't right. Now it is. Great. We did it. We figured it out. We fixed it. Everything's going to be okay. See, those are the things that, like, they happen, right? I thought this was going smooth and simple. I thought I was, wasn't making any mistakes. I made a pretty big mistake. But it was fixable. Great. So we're moving on from there. Um, but, yeah, so that's the. those are the things. I'm going to uh, put these links up. Here, we'll do that now. Uh, here's my Amazon wish list. I've never under obligation to purchase anything. If you do purchase something like, Harold purchased this kit for me, which is awesome. Um, uh, let me know. Send me an email because they don't send me notifications when something gets bought off of it. It just goes off. Um, here is my Patreon. Uh, if you have $5 plus, you get the videos on YouTube before anybody else. Any other videos I do, if I do anything else like mailbags and Q&As and all that other stuff get that early um and here is my uh coffee link you can send me that if that's something you like to do uh, no pressure and that's just some money if you want to be like hey i got a couple extra bucks this month i got some checks in the mail from my aunt for christmas here you go you know feel free uh and any money i make at any of those things immediately goes back into purchasing more kits and equipment so that i can keep streaming Ba, ba, ba. All right, so we are we're working here on this. We're almost done with our first bag, and then we will jump to our second bag. 
Um, I'm not sure how long this will take. Like I said, I don't think it'll. I think it'll be most of the stream today. I, I don't think it'll be too much uh, more on Saturday. Saturday we'll start another kit. My $10 Patreon backers get to vote on what I build next. I put a poll up right now. Uh, three Lego kits that I have waiting. I believe the hover tank was winning the last time I looked. Uh, so hover tank is probably what we're going to build next. Um, but I don't know. It could be the uh, Darth Vader transformation scene. It is uh, Anakin Skywalker becoming Darth Vader. It's a cool little showpiece scene that I think is like pretty neat. Um, that's uh, for that. And then there's also an ATST that is up for vote. No idea what's going to win for that. But yeah, we're going to do two Lego gets in a row. Then we'll do our Death Scythe uh, next year. Oh, man, it's almost 2018. I'm not saying 2018 is going to be great, but uh, I, I think it'll be good. Uh, I'm hoping that, uh, that it'll be better than this year. I have no, no reason to believe that it'll be actively worse, but you never know. My hope is that it'll be better. That it'll be uh, even good. I'll take that. All right, so we're putting these pieces on here. Just building up. Our Starfighter, and it's all pretty self-explanatory, all pretty simple. As I said, I only screwed up the one time, so. Um, this is weird because, so, the way this worked out, this piece doesn't actually clip on anything. It's just right now hanging out. Until I do something, this piece is actually not connected to anything, which is weird. Um so far yeah if i do it like that okay that makes sense now it's snapped into something i had it wrong i'm saying this is no big deal and easy and then i'm screwing up all right so we're going to put these through here and those are going to go uh we'll put them in partially we're going to slip in a thing and then lock them in place these are basically locking in a thing so we'll speak slow with it as always, yeah, let me know if you're building anything, if you're working on any kits. Uh, you can always email, uh, send me a tweet if that's uh, something you'd rather tweet at me. Uh, it's always nice to know what people are working on. Or if you've got anything cool, let me know. If you got any cool for Christmas. So one of the, uh, you know, I don't, I actually don't get a lot for Christmas today. I get some clothes here and there. I got a new uh, uh, pullover, which is good because it's getting cold here in New York. So I was happy to have that. Got a few th odds and ends here and there. One thing I did get was a winter hat that has Bluetooth enabled. that has speakers sewn in and uh, some controller mechanism. And it actually works. I might actually use it instead of having my earbuds and then my hat over my earbuds. So I don't know. Uh, yes, waffles. Definitely should buy some uh, clippers. Buy some stimper clips. Uh, just get them on Amazon. They're you know, very inexpensive on Amazon. Uh, let me look up here what's going on here. Dave, if Amazon uses the world, install the add-on from Camel, Camel, Camel. The prices on Amazon fluctuate wildly during the holidays. Oh, yes. Yeah. you. It's definitely a good idea to kind of keep track. One of the cool things about my wish list um, is one of the things I like is for model kits, it kind of lets me know, like, uh, it's dropped. Like, I'll tell you, the Zeta Gundam Perfect Grade. Uh, has dropped six percent since I added to the list and sometimes things go up in price and they become unavailable and you know they fluctuate uh, There was a kit I put up there the Black Panther kit has been going in and out of availability on Amazon Prime Depending on who is selling it right now. It's for $30 on Amazon Prime. It's a Black Panther pursuit set um, uh, But yeah, occasionally they kind of they're not available on Amazon Prime or they're not available at all and they kind of fluctuate uh the mega constructs uh gyarados has been fluctuating quite a bit in price i've been keeping track of it because at some point i'm going to buy it anyway uh you know that's the real secret the stuff on my wish list eventually i'll probably just purchase it through other means if necessary all right so that's it so we got a couple extra pieces here um we're going to put i got one bag here for extra pieces so we're going to put that in there for now we're going to put yoda in there as well 
so we're gonna that's the end of uh here we're gonna be adding on to this we're gonna build it up to it but we're gonna right now first we're gonna null bag two so here's bag two and we're gonna null that put basically nulling is just separating by color and then you can uh, you can further separate it by uh size if that's what you'd like to do um i always do color and then occasionally i will do um like pieces as well but even just separating my color so i'm going to try to move this away from my body and open the bag so you can't hear it because i know that this sound is not great for people in the same way i'm going to try to quickly dump this bag and uh trying to keep pieces from rolling off my table because it's it's pretty level but still you know if it's a round piece uh toss that bag away uh because the nice thing is if i if we don't finish all these pieces the next hour which you know we might not um i can leave it out because i'm going to be building again on saturday usually between thursday and or between saturday and thursday i break down my table my setup and then I rebuild it up usually Wednesday or Thursday during the day, depending on my availability. And then I leave it up for uh, Saturday because it's just up for a couple days. Because this takes up a little bit of my room. Makes things a little hard. So we got a lot of green pieces. I'm separating the green right now. We got green. We got black. Uh, we got gray. We got two colors of gray. So yeah, so I'm just separating by color. Uh... If you got any questions for me, now's a great time. While well, I kind of mindlessly do that, I can answer any questions or comments you got. If you got anything rad that's building related or you bought yourself anything cool, let me know. I love hearing about that. You can always send me photos as well, as some of you have. Um, I am getting, I'm putting together uh, my submission for, um, because they're due at the middle of January for PAX East. I will be, right now, my plan is to submit improvised anime, or not, improvised anime, that's my improv show. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. No improv there. Uh, improvised postmortem, I'm going to submit that again. Of course, League of Heels will be back. And 404ing it, I'm putting together my uh, crew for 404ing it. Um, uh, I'm almost done setting that up, waiting to hear back from a few people's schedules if they are available. Um, so hopefully I'll know that. And uh, the plan is to either do a live stream um, while I'm up there, one to two live streams when I'm there for uh, for this, or to do a recording ahead of time and just put them up on uh, put that up on my uh, YouTube. Uh, my hope is to be able to stream, but if I'm in a hotel, I'm not going to try. If I'm in an Airbnb, which I hopefully uh, knock on wood over here. Uh, I will be an Airbnb because that'll let me stream, uh, or better chance of streaming. All right, so we got some black pieces here. We got some gray. We got some other gray. We've got a little red. We got some clear pieces. We got some cream color. Usually, if it's like just a couple colors, uh, I know only a couple pieces with that color. I'll put all of those together so that my eyes go where that is. Um, R2-D2 is obviously his own little friend or her own, own little friend. So let's put those aside because that's the first thing we're going to build is an R2-D2, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, parents place, taking a break from Twilight Period 4. Thanks, Master of Ryan Bristellus, but also board game. Drop in and say hi. Hello. Thanks for jumping in and saying hello. Um. Yeah, this is uh, this has been a fun little stream today. It's great to get me back into things. It's great to be back in New York. I got back in Tuesday night, and I'm uh, very happy to be home, sleeping in my own bed, doing my own stuff, uh, getting things ready. Um, uh, they mentioned it, so I'll say um, I'm on a podcast that will go out tomorrow, I believe. Um, it is a holiday podcast. It is a traditional holiday podcast. Uh, for the giant beast cast is our holiday themed uh, everyone was able to get together uh, and we did an RPG so if you are a uh, fan of those the last two years that we did that we did it again um, and it's different and it's cool and um, it, uh, it was really fun really fun to do 
Uh, I did that earlier today. Um, it would, so that was really cool. And then, yeah, that'll be up tomorrow. Hours from now, it'll be up, I believe. Maybe a little later than normal because uh, of the time it takes to, you know, get that stuff ready. But we did it. Um, Vinny mentioned it last week in the last podcast that we were going to do it. Uh, and it actually got done. So that'll be up tomorrow on the Beast Cast Radio Time, um, our special event. And uh, it's a fun one. I think you'll like it. All right, so we're going to put our R2-D2 together. This is a very easy R2-D2. A lot of work was done for us on this one. And boom. Well, Waffles, the nice thing for me is because I was on that podcast, I don't have to listen to it. Because I am a day behind. I just finished yesterday's podcast and haven't listened to today's at all. So I'm very behind on all of the many, many hours of the Giant Bombcast. So the fact that the Beastcast is uh, uh, is coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I, I expect some people will listen to it. I expect other people will be like, uh, I'll get to this later. I, I feel like in a couple weeks, uh, I'll put RTD to your side because we finished them up or her up or them up. Um, I feel like in a couple weeks, people will be like, just get into that podcast because it, it doesn't require, um, you know, time. You know what I mean? It is, uh, it's not one of those podcasts. that's like, here's a late breaking news. No, it just, it's just a story thing we did. It's just a fun RPG romp. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun and cool. I was happy to do it. All right. And that goes there. And all right. So now we're in bag two. Moving right along. Building up our Starfighter. Getting things done. Oh, you got a long plane flight coming up. It's good. Hey, Zorbs. Welcome. Uh, Zorbs, I'm going to put uh, your uh, Zorbs, for those that don't know. One of the things I did on Saturday before I got cut off, I just went and did it, is uh, I did a holiday uh, raffle for, for, at the time, current subscribers. And Zorbs won. So Zorbs is going to get uh, a uh, three kits, the Mega Constructs kits. Um, I will send uh, your way. Uh, I'll be going to the post office tomorrow to do that. Um, so you will get that uh, then. Uh, sometime in the future, because Zorbs, you are uh, you are in Canada. So uh, it's kind of a funny thing. I think most of my subscribers are in the United States, but my winners of the raffles, uh, the lottery raffles, have been Canada, Finland, or sorry, Canada, Sweden, Canada, uh, international all the way around. Whoa. Not that Will Smith is hosting my stream. I've got to turn down that sound notification. It is very loud in my ears. Um, so that's awesome that Will is hosting. It's very nice of him to do. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so I don't mind sending stuff to Canada, but it's a lot. It it involves a trip to the window because i got to fill out a form and i got to weigh the thing. But if I was just sending it in... Uh, New York, I would just, like, from New York to some other place here in the United States, I just go up to a machine and do it like that. So it does require a little bit more effort on my end. Instead of just doing it whenever I can, I've got to, like, make the time to go to the window and talk to a person. Um, but I'll be doing that tomorrow, sending those out. And those are the Middle Evolutions, uh, Ivysaur, and War Turtle and uh, 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 Charmeleon. Yes, those three. Which I made on stream. All right, so we're building up our Starfighter here. Um, but yeah, if you listen to the Giant Beast Cast and you've listened to it previously, um, the holiday one we did the week that they're off, where they don't have to be in the office, we've done a uh, a podcast led by that you know first time first and the first time he was an employee still. Uh, Austin Walker ran an RPG, and I sat in with uh, with the gentleman. And this year, uh, Austin and I came back to do that again. I am not going to say uh, who else did it. 
I will say, Alex and Vinny and Jeff, uh, back all our returns. Uh, as far as anyone else that did it, I'm going to leave that to be a surprise. Because I think it's a good surprise. You'll be into it. Uh, but it was really fun. So I was really, uh, I really liked doing that. Um, Austin always picks interesting games. Some of which I've played before. Some of which I've never played. Um, I had played Fiasco quite a bit. Uh, which we did two years ago. And then last year the game we played. Follower, I think. I can't remember the name of it. I'd never played that before. But I'd played similar things. And the uh, system we used this year, I've never played before, and I don't think I quite get it, but I'm, but I get some of it. I had to really read. I haven't read all of the rules of it, um, but I had fun. Uh, all right. So, huh? Supposed to be. Hmm. All right, so here's where we're at right now. I couldn't find two of the pieces that I was looking for, and I found them. I had nulled them, but they still slid away from me. So it looked like I didn't have them, which didn't make any sense, because I have not done a LEGO set in many, many years where I was missing a piece. And even then, it was usually user error. Like, I had already used it instead of a, like a similar color, and then I couldn't find it. The nice thing about doing this green is I can really see the green. Uh, it really pops, uh, and it's really easy to find the pieces I'm looking for. Uh, glad Austin come back to do those podcasts. Yeah, I mean, I know some people, it's the one they skip because uh, they're not into uh, role-playing games. They're not into that kind of thing. They're not into the kind of, uh, they'd rather have it be the regular one, and I get that. I also, last year, my audio was very bad. Uh, my setup was far worse than it is here. And uh, I know that, uh, knew that at the time, that, you know, it just wasn't going to be good. Uh, so I, uh, my audio is far improved this year, I believe. So, yeah, I know some people that it's not their thing. They'd rather just have their funny uh, video game playing uh, people's talk about video games and all that. But it's either that or don't do a podcast. So we got going on here. Matt Pasquale is auto hosting up to seven views. Thank you, Matt Pasquale. That's very nice. Of you to auto host auto hosting is nice it lets people see things and sometimes they're very surprised i know a few people have come here via um uh will smith and are like oh this is a gunpla stream and lego kits cool uh they might not know me or they know me but just didn't know that i stream that's my big thing i've been doing this uh, uh for six months now or five months five months uh, one of my big things is just letting people know. Um, I got a few followers. Uh, oh, so uh, I didn't put the link. I didn't put the link up here. Um, I don't have the link to it. But if you go to Giant Bomb and go back to, I believe, Monday or Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, um, my top 10 uh, list went up. Uh, they asked me, uh, Alex uh, Navarro asked me to do a top 10 list for their guest list um, on Giant Bomb. I was happy to do it. So uh, I did a list, and uh, I know I got a few people who gave me some follows because of that. They didn't know that I streamed, uh, which is, yeah, it's just like a part of the game is just like getting the word out, letting people know. I'm trying to be aware of that and do a better job of just letting folks know that, hey, this is a thing that you might be into. Come check it out. Um, so, yeah, it was really fun. Uh, I haven't done a top 10 list in quite some time. So it was nice to put on my thinking brain. I didn't write too much because uh, I knew that people would have a lot to read. So I just kind of was like, here's the game. Here's a very tiny bit about it. But Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is my number one game. Spoilers. Uh, spoiler alert. My number one is, is Player Unknown's Battleground. And my number two is Hearthstone, which is, if you've been listening to me at all, not a surprise. Neither of those is a surprise. That is what I was into this year very much my favorite games uh so hearthstone is my number two for uh uh, uh the uh, lich king stuff the frozen throne although i do really like kobolds and catacombs a lot especially the dungeon um 
But I put it in there because I, I, I had my favorite decks in, in years came out of that build, of, of that expansion. So I feel like I wanted to honor it as a thing that literally only Alex is the only person on staff, as far as I know, that plays Hearthstone. And he has stopped talking about it because sometimes people don't really get mad. Like I was a guest not too long ago, maybe last year, and apparently a bunch of people were very unhappy with it, how long I talked about Hearthstone. Uh, so I... Uh, but I'm not a games journalist. I don't play games that haven't come out yet or just came out. I play what I want to play because I'm a gamer for fun. So I play a lot of Hearthstone because I fucking love Hearthstone and hate Hearthstone. You know, sometimes you hate it. Sometimes you love it. That's how that goes. Um, all right. So we got some light gray, two light gray pieces here. Uh... Trying to find the right size, aren't you? Hmm. I said they never have you missing a piece you need, but I am having a moment here where I cannot find a piece that I'm looking for. Could be. Yeah, I'm actually right now unable to find a piece that I have been looking for. Um, so I am currently hunting and pecking for a piece. This is weird. This doesn't happen. Like I said, uh, I'm looking for this piece. Um, pack two. Oh, okay. So what happened is, as I said, user error. Uh, I literally tossed uh, the bag, and there's a piece missing in there, so I'm going to reach for that bag, and, um, yes, so you can see, bag two had one piece that I did not take out, and that was the piece that I needed, it user error, that's what it is, that's what it comes down to, I'm going to let the table refocus here, because I bumped the table, so let it refocus, great, hello, I'm back, um, and uh, while that was happening, I just got a notification that I did just get my PayPal just updated. And uh, for the first time ever, I got money from Twitch, which is all coming from you, from y'all. So thank you very much for that. The money I got there, like I said, part of that money is going to um, pay for another emote that'll go for the $9 emote uh, for the $9.99 or whatever it is, the $10 uh, the middle thing there, um, I'm going to have a moat just for them. Um, I haven't, I won't announce it, uh, until it's done, but I'm, uh, I'm going to still have Alexandra, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra on Twitter, um, make that cause she made their bear cave emote, which I'll put up there. Uh, so yeah, so I've got, uh, the bear cave emote and I'm going to have one more emote that's going to get made. Um, and your money went to that. And then the rest of that money is going to go into buying, uh, the upgrades, either buying kits or buying the computer components that will make streaming uh, a more viable thing. Maybe let me do some game streaming. Um, and so thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, your continued support means so much to me. Uh, this has been one of my favorite things of 2017, which has been a shit time garbage year. But the, the, the fact that I can... Uh, be with you all here on the internet and do some building a thing that i missed so much i missed building kits um and uh i get to stream which i really enjoy doing and learn about what you all are doing out there i really do enjoy it um and appreciate you all for your continued support um, so yeah so we're putting out there we're building some stuff we're getting some stuff done and then gotta put cockpit on Put this here. Ooh, look at that. Goes like that. And then it pops down. Only the first of one thing that happens on here. One display thing. Put that there. That's kind of cool. Probably keep that down for now. All right. So we're going to the bag two. We're going to build a little thing separate. And then we'll, we'll attach it. So we'll put that aside for a second. Put that right there so you can see it. But yeah, we're going to go until 9.30. Um, we'll open the third bag. We'll know the third bag. Uh, I don't think we'll get to building much of it. Um, like I said, this moves pretty quick. 
This was a 262-piece kit, so it doesn't take too long to do, but it's not uh, the shortest build of any of my kits. It's not like a Mega Constructs that I can do in an hour or less. Uh, all right, we did that, and we go there. I'm going to pop over to Twitter real quick. Uh... Um, oh, and Harold, uh, so at, uh, 920 Eastern, uh, you should go to, uh, Harold Price's, uh, stream and check that out. Harold is doing a stream. He's going to play some Jackbox. So you should check that out. Harold, if you're here in the chat, I don't know if you're still in the chat. Uh, I'm not looking too closely. If you're in the chat. Uh, throw up what your Twitter uh, handle is. Give you a link to that uh, so that people can go and check it out. Um, I can go and scroll because I cannot remember off the top of my head because I'm a bad friend sometimes. But uh, Harold bought this kit. H Bomb and Friends, if I remember correctly, is H Bomb and Friends. Yes. Yes, Harold. Well, I saw that on Twitter that you're going to be streaming later. Uh, and Harold is. Harold purchased this kit. So I'm building this thanks to Harold's generosity. So yeah, when my stream is done, which will be around 9.30, might be a few minutes earlier, might actually be 9.20, depending. Um, you should go uh, check that out for some late night entertainment. Play some Jackbox. You can't go wrong with some fun Jackbox games. Um, but yeah, Harold is doing that. So that's that's rad. Uh, oh, cool. So, so here's closed up. Here's what this looks like. And then pops open. And then you can put your figure in there and do whatever. I'm sure there's more to build with that. And then, yeah, and we're building like some of the front parts here. Um, I'm sure there's more. We still have another bag, so there's more more to come on this build. Put that there, got a gray piece. Got a piece like that. Got two of these. Yep, this is moving pretty, pretty fast, as I said. Um, figure it out, figure out what we need to do for this, and then, yeah, nice and easy, uh, you can push it a little later, you're flexible, whenever you get eliminated from HQ, oh yeah, a friend of mine won $35 on HQ, uh, this week, uh, which is, like, pretty fucking great, uh, I was very happy for her, uh, she nailed it. Uh, all right, so we attach that to this here. Two, four, great, that went right. And then that attaches to this part here. It's really starting to take shape. This uh, this starfighter. Have no, I have no like real attachment to this particular uh, kit. Oh, one thing we'll, we'll you know we'll put it in later, but I can show you these pieces here. Uh, back here is where our R2D2 will sit. And it actually stays in place. It won't fall out. So I'm going to put R2-D2 in there now. Just because. Why not? It'll have me do it later. But now now I know where it is. All right. And so we're going to build the other side. Uh, which is identical to this one. Except facing the other way. So nice and easy. Put that there. We just built this piece. So it should not be hard to do. Just facing the other direction. Not hard at all. That's gotten this question nine or ten. Yeah, I haven't. Um, I've helped out a little bit here and there with uh, HQ. But I haven't really put a lot of time into it myself. Um, just, just haven't. Just hasn't been a thing. No, no knock against it. Uh, I knew. I don't know Scott super well, but uh, I have teched his his show when he had a talk show that he ran where his dad was his sidekick. Uh, I teched that before and kind of know him from the larger comedy scene. It's one of those things where like he might be like, "Oh yeah," but not like, "I know that dude." Hey, what's up, Pat? Like, it's kind of that thing where it, it's totally believable for me if he doesn't remember my face, my name, but like remembers my face. All right, so we're gonna attach these here, these weapons. Uh, 
And it goes in here. Great. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And of course, we've got some extra pieces because Lego is great about that. Um, and so we'll just attach that to this and attach. Whoop. Dropped a piece. My first drop of the stream, other than obviously the bag problem that we had. So get that. And found it. Uh, since I have the bigger table, uh, which has been great, uh, I love my big table. Uh, yeah, I haven't had as many drops because I've had more room to kind of spread out my kits. Um, it's been awesome for that. All right, so we'll attach that. And that is bag two. Move through bag two pretty well. So we'll, at the very least, we're going to null bag three. I don't know if we're going to finish, but we'll at least null it and get it together. I'm going to put my extras back in this bag. And then, uh, yeah, these feel like about one stream per, which is totally fine. Totally okay with that. Uh, so we'll put that in there. It's just gonna, it's gonna fit in the box, which is great. Love when it fits in the box. So we're gonna put that aside, and we're going to, I'm gonna open the bag underneath me once again. I already did this once, but uh, try to do that so it, you don't hear the bag. And then open it here. Okay, and then make sure that the bag is empty this time. It's empty. Toss it over there. Got a trash can over there, but whatever. This isn't like food. It's just paper bags or plastic bags. Let's open that. And then we got more green, gray, black, and, uh, you know, like two grays. Make sure that bag's empty. Toss that aside. So now we're just knolling by color. We'll just put it aside. You know the drill. You know the process. You know what I'm up to. Green on one side. Black. Two grays. Just putting things where they go. And then, uh, yeah. And then uh, the little greens we'll put aside. Got an extra, those are our weapons. Put that aside there, nice and easy. Got any questions, any comments? We're knolling again, so this is where it's easy for me to find stuff. Um, I believe my Patreon, like I said, is going to, uh, the votes have been coming in, the $10 Backers get to vote on what I build next, and I believe that means the hover tank will be will will build on Saturday, because uh, either we'll finish this. I don't think we'll finish this. We'll get close, but I don't think we'll finish this. So we'll finish it really at the top of our Saturday stream at 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, and then we'll jump into uh, the next Lego and do that, um, and we'll do the hover tank, and then after the hover tank, the death site. Master Grade, the original Death Scythe, not the Hell, not the Custom from Wing, the uh, from from Endless Waltz, the original Death Scythe. We're gonna build that. I can't wait to do that. Build my drone, build all that. Get another Duo Maxwell on the scene. That was very easy, Noling, because there's not a lot of pieces here in this bag. Very easy. All right, we're getting into it. We're doing bag three, building the outer uh, wings of it. We take that piece here. We take one of these. This is gonna be one of those things where you build it one one thing like four different or four things like one way. You just kind of build it each time. And there we go. It kind of just lines up there. Yeah, that not too many pages left in this book. Not expecting this to take uh, forever in a day. And so that goes on like this, which seems fine. Oh, I'm realized I'm building off. I apologize. I was building off camera. Um, yeah. So like I said, we've got another, uh, 25 minutes or so of the stream. We might not use the full time, but we're going to, we're going to go for a ways. Um, thank you for joining me today as we build, uh, this Lego kit. Going to do another one. On Saturday, um, probably the hover tank, unless the votes change. There are enough people who haven't voted yet that it could sway the vote uh, for uh, one of the other kits. Could could suddenly, the, the vote could change and suddenly I'll be building something else. I've got uh, three Lego kits waiting and then I have one coming in the mail. I've got another one waiting in the wings um, from Coyote. 
who got a kit uh, a while ago and um, isn't really a Lego person. Not really their thing, the Lego kits. So they're sending it to me instead because I can build it on stream, which is really nice of them. Um, so they're sending me another Lego kit that I'm going to get in the mail at some point. I don't know when. Uh, buh, buh, buh. And we do this on here. And then two of these. Make sure that I'm doing this right. Um, oh, so I haven't talked about anime. Uh, you know, we're in the doldrums right now, getting ready for the new seasons and some new excitement. Um, the 13th and final episode of Love is Like a Cocktail aired. Uh, that show was very fun and cute and great. I'm a broken record about it. You know. You know I'm really into that show. You don't need to tell you twice. Um, but yeah, it is really cute and really fun. And the final episode is still very cute and very fun. So I was into it. Um, happy that it came out. So that was really cool. Um, got a receipt here. Okay, great. Got a message and an email. Nothing important. Nothing I have to worry about right now. Do that. Do this. That sticks out one. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're just building up the outer wings here. Nice and easy. Nothing nothing crazy weird or ab abnormal about this. Nice and easy. And it goes there. Uh, with all these Star Wars sets, you set up a diorama. Store. I could do something like that. Um, yeah, I haven't really done anything with displaying. I, as you know, when I hit certain milestones, I want to send these kits out. My next milestone is 50 subscribers. That's a ways away. Um, we've been jumping between uh, 25 and 30 as far as uh, month to month lately. Haven't had a big jump in subscribers. Hope to change that because, you know, more subscribers is just a you know, theoretically, uh, I'll be able to do it more um, because that would be a uh, better cost and all that, like income and all of those things, uh, word of mouth. So the hope is to build the channel up some in next year. Uh, and if I can build the channel up some, that'd be great. So, yeah, one of the things I want to do is I want to send uh, kits uh, out to people that have backed me. So I'm going to send in, you know, on all that. But when I finish all these Lego, I should like take a photo with a lot of the Lego together. I should take some photos with my, my model kits um, and let you see like the death. Like when I finish this next death scythe, that's what I'll do. Uh, when I finish my next death scythe, I will uh, take a photo of that with the second thing we ever built on stream, the second uh, model kit we ever built on stream, the death scythe hell custom. So you can kind of see that. That'll be fun to kind of compare and contrast those two kits. That could be fun to do. All right, so we're building basically this, only the other side of it. Uh, so pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to do. We're just doing what we did one more time. Uh, and that goes there. That goes there. Yeah, so we won't finish this up today. Uh, tonight, I should say, but we will do a lot of it, and then we will finish it up uh, on Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, and then we will also do our uh, uh, next kit, which I said, which I will announce on the stream, or sorry, I'll announce on uh, my Twitter account, twittercom there If you're not following me already, get on board. Um, yeah, I'll make the announcement there of what, what it is. Um, giving it time for my $10 Patreon uh, supporters to be able to rock the vote and uh, let their voice be heard. But yeah, I should I should take out my kits more often. Take them out of their boxes, show them off. Um, I've been doing a better job of taking photos uh, of my stream. Um as I'm doing them and give you like progress shots. Uh, I've been better about that. So I should also like, yeah, take some kits out or at least like show like the wall of kits, like my, all my collection of kits that are waiting to go out to lovely homes. 
I did my end of the year. Sorbs won my end of the year uh, thing. I'm going to do that more often. I'll probably do a... Um, uh, I'll do an anniversary of my uh, starting the channel, like my first stream. I'll do like an anniversary that day and probably give out a kit to a subscriber then. That'll be, that'll be you know, in the summer. So I might do one before that as well, depending on if I hit certain milestones. But, you know, I always want to do the subscriber milestones. I think subscriber milestones are cool, uh, even if I can't uh, for sure uh know exactly when those are gonna be it's kind of cool um oh all right so take this put this here and then i'm gonna feed that in there all right so we'll put it like that that's pretty cool and then there's one of these goes back in here Ah, and then that goes on here, and the idea is that they can open and close and move around a little bit, but not too much, but mostly just open and close. That's very fucking cool. Look at that. So now I'm going to do this step that I just did here. I'm going to do it one more time. Uh... We might actually finish this up because, yeah, after that, it's just some decals and some tweaks. I don't think we're going to finish. We're going to we're gonna do almost all of it. Um, but basically, we'll get back in there. Made too much work, but if you can camera clicker, you can take a picture of every step. Yeah, David, I, I've thought of that. Um, and that that is, like, just a little too much work. It's kind of like, it's a good idea. Um, if I had a another tripod, I could set a camera up. I could take like photos of each step and kind of do that. Um, that is something that I have I have thought about, but uh, it is not it is not in the cards right now as a thing. Is to do like the the photo the in progress photo. Um, uh, it's something I might do someday, but as of right now. That is not currently in the cards. Uh, right. Goes like that. That goes like that. So I'm going to try to do these together. Because they are similar in their steps. I'll try to do the other wing. Just like I did this. I could have done them at the same time. But I didn't do that. So instead, I'm doing it now. Uh, Patreon tier to hire someone to be the camera clear. Yeah, there you go. Oh, when I hit my goal of this amount of money a month, that I'll have someone be here when I stream to take photos every at, at every step. There you go. Yeah, that is a that's a Patreon tier right there. Uh, I don't. I yeah, I don't see that necessarily happening. Um, okay, so it goes like that. That goes like this. Uh, this step I've been doing entire time and it's not a hard step so I know exactly what I need to do with this step like that and then the other side would be this goes like this and then this goes like this it's not particularly challenging at the moment as we said because I've done this now. This is the fourth time doing this one step. So I'm pretty good at it. Now it goes like that. And it goes like that. So then it goes like this. And it goes like this. So then that goes like that. And that goes like that. But uh, speaking of the Patreon things, like I said, I'm at ninety-five dollars. When I hit hundred and fifty, then I can start doing three times a week for streams. Uh, I can't really justify doing that right now financially, doing three times a week because I will just—that's even how much more faster I will go through kits uh, if I did that. So I am currently not doing that. Uh, but uh, hundred fifty dollars a month, I think that is a reasonable goal. 
in order to be able to afford to do that. So that's where we're at with that. Um, um, like I said, we're at $95, which is good. It's not incredible, but it's good. Um, I'd like to get to the point where uh, that is a reality. I would love to be able to do that. I'd love to be able to stream three times a week. That's the goal. Get up there. Get up there. Get my hours, my weekly hours up. Then I can apply for partner instead of affiliate, which I'm at right now. Which would be, which would open a whole, a whole avenue for me. A whole lot more doors would open up if I hit partner. But I need to get my hours up each week because lots of streamers stream for three hours, four hours at a time. I'm doing an hour and a half because I'm building and I'm talking constantly while I'm building. And it is uh, not the thing, not a thing I can just do uh, without putting any thought or effort into it. Uh, with games, when I did, when I did, I say I only did it once. When I did the Hearthstone stream, that time flew because there's a lot of other things happening. It's not just me talking to me uh, with y'all watching. Um, so I know that it was a different thing. So yeah, I'm definitely up, you know, up for that. I would like to to stream more. I'd like to do some bonus game streams. Um, if I get my computer stuff up and the gaming becomes a reality, then that is a thing that I will certainly look into. All right, so this goes like this. And, oh wait, no. This one, yeah. Yeah, because I really enjoy streaming. I really like doing it, so I want to do it more. Uh, and the hope is that I will be able to do that for all of you more often than not. And then this goes on like this to lock it in place. Did that. And then, yeah, we're going to finish this up. We did it. Uh, so, yeah, on Saturday, we will do... Um, uh, oh, I put some finishing touches on here. On Saturday, we're going to do a new, new uh, kit. I don't know what it's going to be. I think it might be the hover tank. We'll see how the voting goes. I'm going to send a reminder to my $10 backers that they can vote on what they want me to build next. And maybe they'll choose something else. It's not that. And I got uh, some stickers here. I'm going to try to apply them. Um, I'm going to not care if it doesn't look good. And we're just putting some rebel insignias on our starfighter. Let people know what's what. Who we are, who we believe in. Not too many decals on this. So pretty easy to do. Oh, Harold, I'll see you later. Thank you very much for jumping in. And uh, have a great uh, stream. Uh, thank you for coming in. Thank you for hosting for a bit. Appreciate that. Thank you all for coming out today. We're going to finish this kit. This kit was purchased by Harold. So go go to HBOM and Friends on Twitch and uh, watch his streams. Uh, so he's just a good person. All right, that's it. So that's the end for decals. And then um, the only thing left is we've got uh, some missiles. Uh, so we put those in here. They go in there. And they lock in, and then we can fire them. That's the pieces that are the gray and white. And they're, so you can see it in the back here. They're here in the back. And then uh, if I push it, or they'll fire. I don't want to shoot it because I will lose them. They do come with one extra. One extra. So that's nice. So that's it. That's our kit. With one stream to do this. Uh, I'm glad I've got a bunch of them. And I'm glad I put that poll up yesterday, or today, so that hopefully people will vote, and I will know what I'm building tomorrow. But that's it. That's our build. Um, thanks for joining me here. Uh, I guess we could put Yoda in this. We'll put Yoda in the cockpit. Um, but yeah. Uh, turned out great. Thank you very much, Harold, for your uh, support uh, by purchasing this kit. Thank you all for joining me today. That's going to be the end of our stream. Uh, the YouTube archive will be up tomorrow for 
uh, everybody. It's up uh, in a couple hours for my $5 plus Patreon supporters. Um, we're going to put Yoda right here, just hanging out in the controls. Lock Yoda in. Yoda is locked in place. This is a fun little kit. It's cute as hell. It's cute as all hell. So I'm going to know the first bag of my next kit sometime before we stream. Um, and I'll put this stuff away. But thank you very much for your support. Thanks for watching. Uh, Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern will be my next stream. It will be an hour and a half from that. I might stream on Sunday. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. But that, until then, uh, I'll see you all later. And thanks for joining me. Have a great night. Good night.